as all of South Africa awaits the arrival of the Scottish rugby team, their netball team is already here taking on South Africa in a three-test match series ahead of the Commonwealth Games. We've got both captains from both teams. We've got Leslie McDonald from the Scottish Thistles netball team and as well as our very own Mareika Holzhausen from the Proteas. Good morning, ladies. Good morning. I'm so happy that you're here. It's a lovely, chilly morning, but we're just going to be learning some <laughs> tips and tricks from the best in the industry as well. So, uh, Leslie, to you, why did you guys decide to take on South Africa ahead of the Commonwealth Games? Um, we're delighted to be hosting the Commonwealth Games in a couple of weeks' time, and it's just part of our pre preparation to be playing against the top nations. Obviously, South Africa are one of those teams that, yeah, we're obviously a, a quality team, and we want to ensure that we're playing against a quality team and part of our preparation lead up to. Wonderful. And how was the contest for you last night? Oh, it's good. It's a huge learning experience for us. Um, as I say, we are the 12th ranked team in the lead up to the Commonwealth Games, so it's making sure that we're playing against the, the teams that are higher ranked, and that was certainly what happened last night. Um, we're obviously a little bit disappointed in the final outcome, but we're obviously going to learn a lot from the three tests um, to take into Commonwealth Games. Absolutely, and of course that's what you're wanting to take out of it, the learning process and growing through all of that yeah, as well. Yeah, absolutely. We've never played against South Africa before. Um, it's a different style of netball that we're used to. Um, yeah, and every experience that we can take from and that is going to obviously help us in the in the long run. Wonderful. And of course, Marek, our very own captain, tell us about the formation of this new league in, in netball and how and what that means to South Africa. The Brutal Fruit Netball Cup has really been a great positive for netball in South Africa. Um, over the past five weeks, we've um, travelled to Pretoria every weekend, played two competitive matches, and I really think for the spot Proteas that were, the game time was excellent. So um, I think next year um, it will be bigger and greater, yeah. and we're just looking forward to it expanding. Fantastic. Now, we heard from Leslie what the Scottish team is hoping to take out of the Test Series, but what is the national side hoping to gain from that? And this is obviously also preparation for us um, going to Commonwealth over to their country. Um, so we're really looking um, forward for the next two tests, um, improving on our attacking and our defensive skills, um, playing together as a team. This is the first time we've played together this year. So I'm really looking forward to just building a team cohesion. Wonderful. Now, in terms of talking about those attacking and defensive skills, for any young aspiring netball player at home, the last time I played netball, I must say I was in standard two, and I'm telling my age, I'm giving my age away with the use of the word standard too but what are some tips and skills um, in the game of netball that you can maybe teach us for anyone that's looking to get started in it because you guys are really inspiring and I'm sure there are many young girls that are that are quite interested in it Okay, if I can go first. Go for um, it, yeah. I think yeah, you need to have quick feet. Yes. Um, you're not allowed to run with the ball at okay. all, but um, you need to be quick getting to the ball. All right. So if the first thing I would say is quick feet. Okay. Now, I remember when playing a netball that there was this one part where your foot had to be frozen the minute you got the ball. What's that all about? Um, it's the stepping rule. Okay. Um, the moment you catch the ball, um, you're not allowed if you land with your f right foot Okay, first. would you mind demonstrating yes, no, it for us? Okay, all. cool. Okay, if I catch the ball and I yeah. land with my right foot, I'm not allowed to pick it up. Ah. I have to pass the ball first. Okay. And the moment I pass it, I can pick up my feet and I can run again. Okay. And I'm sure like in, in football, Leslie, there's, I'm not in football, sorry, in basketball, there's no hanging on the actual <laughs> hoop once you've scored, right? No, it's a real um, accurate um, pass, if yeah. I can, as a, as a shot. Um, no backboard, as you said, um, and it just needs to make sure that you're accurate to get that ball through the hoop. Okay, and what would constitute a foul in the game of netball? Um, you're allowed to contest for the ball, but at any point um, the umpire thinks um, one player's getting an advantage over the other, um, then that's classified as a foul. Okay, wonderful. Well, I must say it is a very, very interesting game and quite exciting as well. And we certainly do wish both teams um, all the best in the, the three test series. And of course, we're holding thumbs for our national side as well. Thank Leslie, you. welcome to Cape Town. Thank we you. We certainly hope that you're going to continue and have a wonderful time here.